Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan. And uh, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. We're shooting a can, basically a consumer review on some products that we use every day here at uh, Dylan Talks Tone, Dylan Pickups around the house. And one of them is right up there, that uh, ring floodlight cam. And then we have the ring, we have the whole ring of security thing because we have the stick up cam in the backyard, we have the doorbell, and we have this camera. So to give you a little timeline, we've had the doorbell for a little over a year. On April 15th of this year, of 2017, we bought the stick up cam, or the uh, floodlight uh, cam. And we've had the stick up cam for a while too. And in the middle of June, both the floodlight cam and the stick up cam that we have in the backyard um, failed. They both failed while we were on vacation, actually. Uh, so ring of security was already killing me. What I can't stand about their customer service is, first of all, you start with a chat. And then you have to schedule a phone call. This is really a review about their customer service or lack thereof. Um, then you schedule a phone call and then what you have to pick like, they give you an automated thing and you have to pick an open date. And it's usually three or four or five days out from whenever you have this problem. So you're already, you know, if it's over a weekend, you're already a week without your ring of security, okay? Um, eventually we got it sorted and they sent me a replacement stick up cam and a replacement uh, floodlight cam. That was in the middle of June. Uh, on July, let's see, if I look at my notes here, in the middle of July, then, we had another failure of our floodlight cam. So I got on a chat and said, can we just move straight to tier two? Because we've already had this problem, I don't wanna go through this all over again. So they said, yeah, so they said, yes. Um, and then I didn't hear anything. So I tweeted about it. The trick with Ring is they don't like you to say bad things about their products on Twitter. So I tweeted about it and immediately I got a response. And they said, schedule a tier two phone call. On July 20th. I scheduled a tier two phone call. I tried to schedule a tier two phone call, but the first available slot was not until July 31st. So my ring of security camera would be down for 20 to 31st, 11 days. That is ridiculous. So I took to Twitter again and I said, that is unacceptable. This is this is stupid. We're, we're talking about a security product here. If it was a toaster or a blow dryer, I would understand being patient. But when you're talking about something that is secure, supposed to be securing my home, that I have spent $250 for that one, $200 for that one, and $200 for the one in the backyard, that is just, it's completely unacceptable. Uh, so then they tweeted me back and said, we're gonna email you. So they emailed me and scheduled a phone call. Uh, tried to schedule a phone call. I replied back and said You need to do better than that because that's days out um, then they I Emailed them again They did not respond so I tweeted again Then they said we tried to email you, but you must be using a different email address I went back and I checked my records and I'm using the email address that they have on file these products are fantastic, but if you have a problem, it's ridiculous. So basically what I'm telling you is, um, I'm gonna try to resolve the actual technical issue with Ring today. Uh, so far they have not called me. Either way though, I believe that these things are coming down and we're gonna either go with Canary or Nest. Um, I'm, I've had it because uh, if, if you cannot back up your products, and if you are putting customers out two weeks, if that many people are having trouble with a product that you have to put on a security product, that you have to put them out 10 days to get support, unless you yell about it on Twitter or social media, to me that just doesn't make sense, especially for a security product. When they're working, they're fantastic. I have loved them, and we have actually captured 
some some activity in our yard that we were thankful that we had it for so as long as you're not having any problems I'm sure they're gonna be fine uh, but for a security product this is just unacceptable on the cu customer service side I mean like I said if it was a toaster or a blow dryer or something that you could live without for five to ten days I totally get it uh, but it's unacceptable so we're gonna be reaching out to Nest. I would like to do a, a review of a Nest product, and I would also like to do a review of a Canary product um, and see how those things do. Uh, we would love to review those products, so I'm gonna be reaching out to them and see what we can do to get some and compare them to the Ring. Because like I said, feature-wise and everything, Ring is very cool. But this customer service thing on a security product, it's, it's just unacceptable. So anyway, I will be getting back to you on our next security camera choice, uh, and I will let you know what we're using. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll talk to you soon.